In this episode of 5 Minute Film School, we focus in on focus. Welcome to 5 Minute Film School, the show that teaches you to be a better filmmaker in 5 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Michael Booth, and today we're talking about focus and the best practices for getting the sharpest image. Focus, or more specifically, focus distance, is the distance between the subject and the image sensor in the camera. The camera's focus should be set to this distance in order to have the subject appear in focus. For example, when the subject is 10 feet from the camera, the camera's focus should be set at 10 feet. If the subject moves closer than the camera's focus distance, it will lose focus and become blurry. The same thing may happen if it moves further than the focus distance. Many professional lenses allow you to set this focus distance to a specific number. In those cases, the crew will use a measuring tape to get an accurate distance between the subject and the film plane or image sensor. Almost all professional movies measure focus using a measuring tape to ensure a sharp image. Most professional cameras have a symbol on the camera body that indicates the location of the image sensor specifically for this purpose. If you have a DSLR, go ahead and look for it. Most lenses will allow you to focus on objects at a great distance, often referred to as infinity. The limitation on lenses is often the minimum focus distance, or how close your lens can be to an object and still keep the object in focus. Minimum focus distance is usually printed directly on the lens. Keep in mind, this is not the distance between the subject and the end of the lens, but rather the distance between the subject and the image sensor. Focus distance is given as a single number, but there will be some subjects that are closer than, or farther than this number, that are still in focus. This range of focus is referred to as depth of field, and we'll go into more detail on that in a future episode. When your lens doesn't have a numerical focus distance, you'll have to focus by eye, so here are some quick tips. The first tip is to zoom in as far as possible. Increasing the focal length will reduce the range of what is in focus, so you can get the sharpest image by first zooming in on your subject, focusing, and then zooming out to achieve the desired framing for the shot. Focus distance is unaffected by focal length, which means your subject should stay in focus when you zoom back out. The second tip is to rack the focus back and forth a few times around the proper focus distance. This should give you a feel for the focus range and make it easier to stop at the center of this range. The third tip deals with focusing on people or animals. When your subject has a face, you should always make sure to set the focus on the eyes. This simple tip will draw in your viewer, especially if you have a shallow focus range. Finally, if all else fails, you should be able to temporarily set your camera to autofocus. I would suggest that you only use autofocus to set your initial focus distance and then turn it off before you roll camera. Most autofocus systems do a terrible job, particularly if your subject is moving. You might also find that the autofocus motor is quite loud inside your camera. Overall, it is your choice on whether or not to use autofocus, but I will say that I don't use it at all. My suggestion is to spend time practicing to manually focus your camera. So that's it for this week. I hope you learned something about focusing your camera. If you like this episode, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. I release a new video every single Monday. Please share this video on your favorite social media sites, and if you're on Twitter, you can follow 5 Minute Film School so you never miss an episode. As always, if you want to learn how to make outrageous films, you are in the right place. 5 Minute Film School. Give us five minutes, and we'll make you give up on autofocus forever.